Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on Mora Commands. This plugin is featured in Server Maker for MCPE. Let's get started. So today we've got the nice little add to these commands, which kind of shorten things for us and also add some new features for us. Uh, so let's really quick get into this. Pretty much how this is going to work. So before we used to have to do game mode and then, you know, put in which one we were going to. So creative. Obviously, if I spelled that properly, it'd work. Okay, so that, you know, it just kind of goes through, okay, I'm already in creative modes, obviously, uh, but what this is going to do now, we can actually shorten these commands so it doesn't take as much. So all you want to do for, let's say, creative is do GMC, which is game mode creative, and then enter. Obviously, I'm still in creative mode, so it's not going to allow that switch out, but for example, if I wanted to go to survival mode, I would just do GMS, which is game mode survival. And as you see, we now go into survival mode. It switches us really quick and easy. No problems. Uh, there are a few other options that you do have for this. So, for example, if you wanted to, you know, play adventure mode, uh, we could just do GMA. And that'll throw you into adventure mode really cool, really easy. Uh, and then say spectator mode. You want to just have a bunch of people spectating. They can't really do much. They're just kind of there to see what's up in the server itself. You're going to go ahead and do GMSPC. And when you enter that in, that's going to switch you into spectator mode. That's a pretty cool feature I like because if you want to put that as your default setting, uh, so anytime somebody joins the server, they're automatically in spectator mode and they can't do anything until you actually unlock them and give them permission to actually play in the server itself. Uh, so just think that about that one. That's cool, fun little setup. And then there's also, you know, obviously going back to the creative mode. So I'm going to show you guys that that still works too since before I was already blocked out because I was in it. Uh, so we're just going to do that and it switches you back right there into creative mode. Super easy, super simple makes the putting in commands a lot quicker and a lot easier nowadays. Uh, you don't have to fumble with everything that's kind of going on. Now, there's a couple other features in, plug in this plugin that they've added. Uh, one is the freeze command. So say somebody's running around your world doing something and you want to stop them pretty quick from doing what it is just to see where they're at and how, they're, how much damage they've done to something or just to mess around even. Uh, you can go in here and do forward slash freeze and then the player's name. And that'll actually go ahead and freeze that player completely and then stop them right there in their tracks. Uh, say now for whatever reason you guys make amends, everything's cool, it was just a wrong mistake, or you know, you're just done trolling somebody for that matter. Uh, you're just going to come back in here. You can do forward slash unfreeze. Oh, I did infreeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so just do unfreeze the name. Oh, I'm off of my spelling today. Uh, and that'll pretty much unfreeze that player and allow them access to start moving around the server again. Pretty cool and easy. Like I said, if you want to troll somebody or pretty much if somebody's doing something they shouldn't be doing on the server, that's a really cool command to use just to kind of stop them in their place. Um, another one is, say, you somebody's doing something, another reason, like they're going around killing people or they've just stole somebody's items and you kind of want to stop them and get rid of all those items so that way they don't have it and, you know, kind of kind of put a stop to the, the problem making that they're doing. Uh, you could also just go in here and you could do forward slash slay. And that person's name, and it'll actually kill them. It'll take them out. You know, they ain't gonna, you ain't gonna worry about them having the other players' items anymore. Uh, that that just kind of eliminates the whole freezing them or whatever. Just immediately, you just take them out and kill them that way. So that's cool to have. Just be mindful that if you kill somebody, they may get a little angry with you. So if you're playing around trolling them, eh, it might not be the best troll for for somebody to actually do on another player. Uh, another example is say somebody's in your your chat and they're saying things or they're doing things that you just don't want them to say or they're just getting a little too out rowdy with what they're saying, uh, you're going to come in here, you're going to do forward slash mute, and that player's name, okay? And that's actually going to stop their complete chat from uh, from everybody seeing it. They can't IM you or PM you. They can't send any kind of chat personal messages to other players. Uh, it pretty much bans them from talking in your server. Now, if you want to unmute them for whatever reason, you know, you decided to, it's going to be forward slash unmute. And then the name of that player as well. And that, that'll give them access to, you know, to speak again. I don't know if you type the name right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, that'll give them the, the privileges to speak again. And then they can start send private messages. However, uh, that's just another common feature to have really useful and really helpful also. Uh, another thing is, say you're dying or a player's dying and you want to quickly heal them. Uh, you can just go in here now and do forward slash heal. And then obviously the player's name, and that will give them, you know, full full heart status again. Will not replace the hunger status, but it's going to replace their hearts. That way they're they're not going to die instantly. 
Um, but also you can just do heal and then say for you want to heal yourself, you just do forward slash heal. Nothing else. And then obviously you can see there it goes, you've been healed. These commands are really easy. They're really useful also now to the game. So make sure you guys check them out, use them, see which ones you like, see which ones you don't like. Obviously you have the option to use which ones you choose. So if you guys liked this video and you guys thought it was helpful, definitely give a thumbs up down there below and also leave a few comments letting us know what you thought about the video. Until then, you guys stay chill and I will see you in the next one. Later.